we will have some people who are listening <laughs> who uh, likely know very little about blockchain and Bitcoin and XRP. Yep. Do you, do you mind sort of, cause, cause I mean, that's the framework which a lot of these micropayments are based on. And yeah, so do yeah. you mind sort of uh, uh, indulging, indulging us with I your, your expertise? Do, I do not mind. So uh, let me preface this with uh, just a little example on PayPal. So because I've been building my site and I've been using help from different people, I've been using PayPal to pay them for their services. And so when I do that, so um, one of my friends helped me with the design. So, you know, logos and stuff. He's in the UK. So I paid him via PayPal. And so PayPal gives you a very special PayPal exchange rate, which is not the same as the actual exchange rate. So I paid him like, I think it was a couple of thousand dollars, but basically like, I think it was like, I paid $300 more because of their exchange rate. And then he got, I think he said like $150 less because of the exchange rate on his side, plus the fees that I pay to PayPal, plus the fee that he had to pay as well. So like of the money that I sent, he did not get 100% of that money. He got a lot less than that. And I paid fees on top of that. So that's fair enough. I have no problems with that because that is an amazing service. Like I sent him money and he gets that. I don't have to go to banks and do wire transfers and all that sort of stuff. So that is a thing that exists. Um, but on GFAM, people aren't spending thousands of dollars. You can tip someone for like less than a cent, right? So um, in order to do that, like PayPal would never accept a transaction of one cent because their fees are so much more than that. So that's why we've used blockchain technology because XRP, it takes three seconds. It goes from my account to your account in three seconds and there's absolutely no fees. Um, so it's a completely free thing. It's super quick. There's no one in between. Um, actually last week, PayPal um, killed my account for four days as part of like the Australian government like needs to do checks and stuff. So I couldn't pay anyone for four days and completely disrupted my business. And there was nothing I could do about that. On the blockchain, there's no central party. Like it's all basically the way blockchain works is that let's say a hundred people have different servers and they all have to agree that like, yes, this is the real transaction or yes, this is the real file. We all agree this is the number one file. So that all happens really quickly. And um, it essentially happens for free for us. So it's an incredible technology that isn't easy to hack. Um, block, uh, Bitcoin, for example, is blockchain, blockchain technology that's all about money. And so to hack Bitcoin, you would need to hack, I think it's something like two and a half thousand different servers in 10 minutes in order to disrupt Bitcoin, uh, which seems really hard. Uh, blockchain technology exists purely to stop people from copying and pasting digital files. That's really all it's for, is to stop copy and paste by saying, this is the authentic real version or real file. Um, uh, and they do that by saying like, all these people are connected and they all agree that this is the one file that's the real file. Um, so yeah, I know that was probably confusing and not well thought out, <laughs> but that's what blockchain is. So basically when with, with web monetization, uh, there's, um, you're opening up a digital wallet in order to be able to access, you yes. know, financial transfers through, through the blockchain. Yeah. And so within, yeah. within that, what is XRP? So XRP is one of thousands of different cryptocurrencies um, but xrp is super quick and has no fees so what that means is that from a micro payment point of view you might get you know if i look at your content for a second then you just might get like 0 0.0006 of an xrp in your wallet and you know that's not very much money it's not even a cent um, but if lots and lots of people do it and lots and lots of people spend time on your content, that really adds up. So I think, oh, I can't remember. Um, I think if, if I spend an hour on your content, then you get like 35 cents worth. Um, 
But if lots of people spend lots of hours on your content, that really adds up really quickly. Um, so yeah, so XRP is just one of the different types of cryptocurrencies. Um, it's super quick because uh, that consensus model that I was talking about um, basically means a bunch of different computers have to agree on you know, the official transaction and all those people are volunteers. So they've set up their servers because they really want this network to work really well. They've got a vested interest. So Coil has a server, different university have servers, uh, just random people have a server and they all have to agree on what the official transaction is. Um, so because they're volunteers, it means that it's completely free for me to send you money and vice versa. And that's why it can be so quick. Um, blockchain, uh, sorry, Bitcoin takes quite a bit longer because um, there's thousands and thousands of computers that have to agree. All of them have to agree, I think, where XRP is a lot quicker because I think it's like 21 um, servers need to agree on the transaction and then there's lots of spare servers. So because it's a different model, it can be a lot quicker and a lot more free. Interesting. Very cool. Thank yeah, you. it is very confusing technology, but it is like, I think it could be world changing.